Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to teach you how to skin and clean a squirrel. But first, Bradley and I gotta go get a squirrel. All right, so he's got a squirrel down there. 55 yards, oh perfect, he's standing up. And let's see if you can get him with the 30. All right, it's a different side of the tree. About 55 yards away, hold a tiny, like hold it on his head if he's standing up like that. Right there, go. That's, oh, smacked him. Oh, he's, I see him. Oh, he just went down. I think you got him. And that might be a one that we can skin. And we think he got him. Looks like he went down right here. Yep, look, right there. He's a good one, grab him. Perfect, perfect, uh, oh, nice one, dude. Nice. Good. All right, dude, good job. Before you begin to field dress a squirrel, you're gonna need a couple of things. Number one is a good skinning knife, okay? So I've got a set right there. I've got some game shears, which are, in my opinion, really, really nice to have for doing squirrels. Um, also nice to have some pliers. I've got a bag of salt, which will brine the carcass in after we're done cleaning it. I've got some water to rinse things out because I don't have running water down here at the shed. And I've also got some gloves. So let's take a little quick examination of this guy. He's a nice big fox squirrel. And Bradley landed just a perfect in and out, straight through the boiler room, heart and lung shot on him. So that did him in. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do, and, and come up here close because we'll have to show this. So what I like to do is rip a little bit of hair from the bee hole down the leg a little bit and I'll show you why we're gonna do this. It just cleans things up a little bit. You can rip the, usually rip the um, fur right out with your fingers and you wanna expose a strip of, sk of skin going from right under the tail a little bit down the leg. And this is gonna just get hair out of the way and make it a little bit easier for us. So once we do that, you're gonna to wanna to cut right under the tail right above the anus and you're gonna see I'm in it you're gonna to want to go through that bone be careful not to go all the way through and cut your hand some guys will twist and kind of break the bones in there but it looks pretty much like I'm all the way through and I'm gonna cut just skin deep along the legs okay skin deep just to get a cut started okay oops that was a little too deep Hopefully that will not rip. Um, and if I'm all the way through the tail, which I think I am, then the next thing you're gonna do is take that squirrel like this, put it up, put its tailbone under your boot heel. And I wish I had boots instead of Nikes on right now. And you're just gonna pull, and he's gonna come off just like that. So now we've got most of step A done. All right. Now here is where I like to have pliers available. Look at that shot you took on him. Uh, right through the heart. That's why he's leaking tons right there. All right, so what I do with the pliers is now that I can grab this, I can grab the rest of this skin and I can just yank it off easily. You can even stand on it and then you can kind of just peel this off, okay? Now we've got We've got him skinned. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is pull out my game shears. We're gonna chop his legs. And sometimes you have to take your thumbs and kind of separate this skin out like that, okay? And then we'll do this, who looks like he blew through his arm, so that's not gonna be much use. So I'm gonna actually cut that way up here. And then we'll cut his other arm. And then this is a grizzly part. You gotta work your way through that whole neck and head. All right. So now you've got that and you've got that. Those are garbage, yeet. And now all we have to do is obviously we're gonna have to get the guts out of this guy. Um, another thing we're gonna have to do is get glands out. Now this is a female. So, uh, squirrels will have glands sometimes behind their knee joints in there, and they'll also have a big mass of it in their armpit right there. 
We do not want to leave that stuff in there. It'll make it not taste as good and it'll taste more gamey. So the first thing is basically Bart Simpson style. Knife goes in, guts come out. Knife goes in, guts come out. Knife goes in, guts come out. Spare my life and I will grunt you three ways. Ah! Knife goes in, guts come out. All right, so you can quick uh, do a little pinch on the belly, pull it out so you're not stabbing into actual guts because we don't want to spill a bunch of stomach contents and stuff like that into the meat. So I'm just going to do a cut like that and then we got guts already starting to come out. And then I'm just going to widen that up a little bit. Okay, so we, we open up that whole cavity and so there's two cavities in a squirrel. This, really in any mammal, there's the, like the guts cavity and then there's like the bread basket with the lungs and heart up there and they're separated by a diaphragm. So what we'll first do is just pull out all those guts. It's really gross. So if you're squeamish, sorry. Pretty much everything will come out. You got liver down here. So now I ripped out all the guts. Kidney's still in there. Take that out. I don't save anything out of a squirrel. I don't know if anybody really does. We'll clean him the rest of the way out here. Um, I got to get up into that diaphragm and Bradley pretty much exploded this guy's heart and lungs and stuff, but I'm going to get in there and see if there's anything left after being hit by that 30 cal. You just want to pull all of that stuff out. And it is nicer having gloves because it's kind of yucky. All right, I got all that out. There's blood clotting in there. That's really just from being shot. Um, then I'm going to cut this. I want to get rid of, you want to really get rid of all the, like the sinew and white kind of meat. And also you're going to want to like clear out the anal cavity on a squirrel. So what you want to do is get your shears, cut all the way down. There's still some stuff in there and you want to cut through this, the pelvis, pelvic bone there. And then it kind of flays out like that. And that allows you to get in there and pull everything out. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but this is the reality of eating animals. So get all that stuff out of there. All right. And you really want to pull all of that, all that sinew and stuff out of there. Cause you really just don't want to be cooking that. Um, so that's looking okay. Um, the next thing is you want to remove these glands. There's like masses of, like you can see it very well right there just these masses of kind of like white globule looking things. You just want to pinch and pull all that off and cut it out. And because that's, that's a, a, like a squirrel scent gland and you don't want to be eating that. So you could see it really well right there. That's it. So cut that all out. Gone. And the other side, see, you can easily see that right there, right? So cut all that out. You do not want that in your stew. Okay. All right, so, and I'm kinda, I try to like really get all the roots of that out of there because it just kind of grosses me out to be honest. So I like to make sure I get out of, like, get it all out of there if possible. Some of that is just sinew. Okay, so now we're at a spot where we can just take our water. water. This is just a one or two gallon, I don't know, uh, bottle that I've put a little hole in. And we're just going to rinse them off. Now sometimes squirrels will have those scent glands behind their legs and sometimes they'll come off with the skin, but this is a big female. I don't really see them on there, so I think we're good. So I'm just going to continue washing, just putting my finger around in there. I'll squeeze this with my legs, maybe get a little more pressure. And I bring these bottles out to the field. This, this works. This works for me. All right, cool. So pretty much all clean you want to wash off all that blood and stuff and that's pretty much that's pretty much your your clean squirrel we've removed the glands we've removed the heart lungs all the guts all the innards everything the only other thing you can do is that sometimes they have this silver skin you can kind of use your knife and peel some of that off if you want but for now with this guy uh, I'm just gonna simply use the rest of some of this water and I'll fill this bag 
And this bag is just full of regular table, table salt. So what I'll do is put some water in here. You always want to brine squirrel for like several days. So I, I put it in here and then I freeze it. And then when I'm going to take it out and actually eat it, I'll let it thaw in the fridge, like in this bag um, for about, why am I doing it this way? For about two to three days. So now salt plus water equals brine. Give him a little bit more of a rinse. And that's a squirrel in the bag. Easy as that, and you can uh, make sure you get most of the air out of there and then put that right in the freezer and keep shooting more and eventually you'll have enough for a stew. I think that's all for today, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. See you next time. Peace. Knife goes in, the guts will come out. That's what Osaka Seafood Concern is all about.